Hey, today I want to talk about what a Merkur infection really is, as well as give you some ideas on treating it and preventing it. Now, before I begin, uh, down below there's a link, and if you click on it, I'm giving away a free video guide on alternative medicine and supplements. Uh, the thing is, is every day we're, we're faced with threats, and I'm talking about you know some nasty stuff out there, uh, like like bacteria that wants to do us harm. But we humans are smart, and luckily we figure out a way to create antibiotics which fight off these nasty bacteria. Uh, the bad news is that bacteria are pretty smart too and they f some of them have figured out a way to resist this bacteria and uh, this is what a mercury infection really is. Now some people call it a, a superbug um, because it can resist uh, this, this type of medicine. Um, however, there's one antibiotic that may be able to take it down uh, and that's something known as a vancomycin now another name for this type of infection, a mercury infection, is MRSA, um, and this really stands for Methicillin Resistant Staphylococcus Aureus. Uh, yeah, try saying that ten times really fast. Now you might be wondering, you know, how you can tell if, if you have this type of infection, and it, it is a little bit difficult. The earliest signs would be uh, red marks, uh, like like reddish bumps, almost like their pimples, or like maybe like a bug bites or something. They could be filled with, with pus and swollen. So it is not easy to, uh, to really determine if you have it. And uh, they're usually on the skin, these type of infections, but if they do kind of grow in other areas, it can be very damaging and possibly even life-threatening. So you might be wondering, okay, so it's resistant to antibiotics. How do we fight it off? What do we do? And this is where alternative medicine really comes into handy because there's some herbs out there um, that really have these antibacterial effects um, that can be so good. Even better on the marketplace, they have these supplements that combine a lot of these herbs and really boost your immune system in times of trouble. Like you notice some funky skin infection, you could take it. It's going to help you fight it off. Also, if you start getting sick, you can take one of these supplements and they're pretty, they're pretty good with, with, with proven you know, it's proven that it can help and work. Another thing to think about is with antibiotics, it actually harms the healthy bacteria in your digestive system, and that's not good. You want the healthy bacteria in there. And if you want to grow the healthy bacteria, there's, there's prebiotics and probiotics are two ideas. Um, but anyways, so you might be thinking, what are some examples of some of these alternative medicine? And uh, one example is something uh, known as thyme oil. Now, I knew about... Um, I knew about lavender oil, how it helps with me go to sleep, and even there's some studies that helps with hair growth. But I didn't know about thyme oil. I just figured this out. I'm really excited about it. It can definitely help with this type of uh, uh, mercury infection. Uh, for example, Greek, re Greek researchers uh, tested uh, various essential oils, and they found thyme oil to work the best. And uh, they found that it completely killed the bacteria within an hour. So that's great news um, um, for or fight against nasty bacteria. Another idea is turmeric, and there's also you might have seen this in grocery stores or whatever, but it's kind of similar to curcumin. Uh, turmeric is just the golden power, like a yellow powderish thing, and curcumin is the active ingredient in it. So if you're confused on what they both are, um, so there's a bunch of uh, studies out there show that it has antiviral abilities and and fights bacteria, and there's a bunch of proof that it does build the immune system. I'll just share one study with you. And uh, that is uh, researchers at Oregon State University. Uh, they actually uh, showed in, in research that it, they sh it was shown that it actually uh, activates something known as CAMP, and what's part of our immune system, and that really is used to detect harmful bacteria to fight it off. So there's there's proof that it does help. Um, and lastly. You know, this type of infection is contagious, so if, if you think you have it or if you do have it, you know, you want to cover it up, um, you know, wash your hands a bunch, you know, kind of keep your, your items more personal, don't, don't share too many things with your, your family that's close to you. And speaking of that, say you have a family member that has some weird skin infection, you're like, oh, I don't want to get that, you know, how do I protect myself? And one really cool idea, which I just kind of learned, is uh, cranberry juice, believe it or not, yeah. Uh, there's researchers at Worcester Polytech Institute. Um, they took uh, females and um, well, they gave uh, half of them cranberry juice and half a placebo, and they took urine samples from both, and they actually tested the urine samples uh, with uh, this the bacteria that's this antibiotic resistant. 
you know, that causes this type of infection. And they found that the, the women who took the cranberry juice, um, well, there's proof that it, that it actually resisted the infection. What it is was it prevented it from sticking to cell walls, which was a pre precursor to an infection. So it really helped resist somebody against this uh, superbug. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty interesting. Now, there's a lot more alternative medicine out there that can help, but there is a big problem with alternative medicine is in Western medicine, like if you go to see a doctor and stuff, it's just not very profitable. So, look, we all know that doctors, they kind of get some kickbacks and some, you know, good things for recommending certain things like drugs. So it's just tough to compete uh, when it comes to alternative medicine, even though they could be so healthy. Another thing which is bad about alternative medicine is, well, it's confusing the shop for the products and there's this marketing stuff because they all say they're the best things in sliced bread and you know, which, which one do you go with and it, it can be kind of challenging. So to make things uh, really kind of uh, easy for you, what I did was I created this whole video guide and it gives you a bunch of ideas on alternative medicine that can do some great things and really solve health problems uh, more naturally. Yeah, I even kind of go over tips on uh, comparing products and give you tips on shopping for them, what to look for, even throw some of my own ideas out there. So I think you're gonna like it. I, I received a ton of positive feedback. If you wanna learn more, just click on the video. I mean, excuse me, click on the link below this video. I hope this, uh, this information was useful to some people. If, if you like this video, if you learned something, hit the, hit the thumbs up button. I would love that. And have a very uh, enjoyable rest of your day. Take care.